off myself or do whatever. But I was my uncle Ray when I was 12. HIV, my cousin Susie, my mom, my nanny, my pappy. All my family is in Greenwood Cemetery. Boys, I'm 12 years old. And I ain't sad. I mean, I'm sad, I'm not sad. I'm by myself out here. But the key is to stay strong and don't get into your head too much. But I need something to do, like I need work. Is there anything, anything around here that needs done that I can help do and maybe, maybe make $40 <coughs> on the bus pass? I mean, I clean. I can help you do something. Yeah, but I leave tomorrow. But um, huh? I'll help you with the with the bus pass. So. For real? Yeah. I need forty dollars for it. Yeah. And I need two bucks for the internet. But I mean, I'll clean. I'll. Do, you want me to help you? I don't feel like you're very nice to me. You're very nice. I really appreciate your kindness. We we are not around. But I will help you do something. Anything that needs done. I'm not a slacker by all means. This is recording now. So, just so you know. So it's good. It's, uh. Yeah. Uh, no, I know that. So it's just, it's, you know, what you're saying though about the people in the street, you know, about the talented people and stuff, that then how everybody's hurting, that's. Because you don't know everybody's story. Like, I'm there. Like, I hear their stories. Like, you know, sometimes they, they're real hard and they're, they'll walk down the street and you'll think, oh my god, that person's an asshole. But you don't know why. Most of these girls out here has been raped, some of them by their own father. For, there's a one girl, my heart breaks for her, she, um, she confides in me a lot. And her father raped her for many years. And she doesn't know how to take it. Like, you know, she loves him and like she wants to be a part of his life, but she doesn't understand like why he did to her like we did. And then you got this other girl where her mother sold her for her own habit. Twelve years old, being having to be put in rooms with men. Like, full grown men, like, who does that? And that's why she is the way she is right now. Like, everybody out here has a story. Like, people just don't choose to live like this or be the way that they are. Like, there's always something behind it. And Miss, I will not share a master pain by getting high, shoving nose on her arm, smoking crack. And you know, doing drugs, drinking, and it helps. It does for a little bit. Like me, I was molested. I was molested when I was two years old. Yeah, I was fucked up when I was younger. Like it was bad. My mom was an alcoholic. Blah blah. blah. She stopped drinking when she was twelve. When I was twelve years old, and I took her to church. I mean, my mom went to church and she got saved. And then me and her had the best relationship in the world. But yeah, I've been through a lot of bullshit. So that's why like, I don't judge. You can't judge nobody out here. Like everybody's like, oh, this person now. <laughs> You get to know who that person is and why they're in pain and why they act like that. You get to know. You know what I mean? It's dumb. I hate it. Like, I have people driving around the road calling me whores and stuff because people are standing on the street and they're trying to say that DD is my pimp. And we are standing down here. Dude, that's not true. We were standing there. Why is. Why, then I feel like they're attacking me. Like, a lot of people are attacking me. And I. So I posted on Facebook and said that, that he was selling my ass. What? Because we were standing there talking? I mean, I'm homeless. Like, what, what do you want me to do? Like, keep walking and walking. We stand there and talk to people. And automatically, they're going to assume that's what's happening. They look at a woman, a, a young girl walking on the street with a black man and assume, like, stupid shit. But in everything everybody's assumes is a friend. He's knew my mom for years. Latoya Jackson, she was up here. She was a black woman who had her kids and didn't have nothing, right? My mom used to help her out all the time. So did Day Day. Day Day was a good dude. Worked in the hospitals, helped people in wheelchairs. He was there. He was there for a lot of people. I don't know. I don't know his story. Like he doesn't talk too much. And I have this shit he says I don't understand anyways. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's it's crazy. But a lot of these girls out here, it's the same issue. Everybody's been molested. Everybody's been. Torn down by a man or the parents or family or just all turning drugs. They're all shooting that heroin. <sighs> I can't believe it when I walked down here the other day. I said, Oh my god. Someone and they're sharing a needle. Ew. They're gonna die. I thought you all was gonna die. Like I couldn't even get close to these girls where I wanted to. I couldn't do it. I already lost and made friends. So many. But
I mean, my dad, my own dad died of an overdose. And he fucks me up because three days, I never got along with dad. I never knew him growing up. The last year of his life is when we start talking. Three days prior to him overdosing, he told me he loved me. Yeah, bad that fucks with me. <laughs> fucks with me. But you son of a bitch be here, you weren't on drugs. My own father. Crazy. Right? People are down. I just can't wait. When you come back, I should have my own apartment and a job. Okay. Very good. That, that I do. And you can come to my house. And chill with me and we can talk mythology. Because you have a lot of mythology. I love mythology. I'm into it. Yeah. I love science. Science is fucking cool as hell. It's cool shit. And there is aliens. How about this one dude told me one day that he was abducted by aliens? Hmm. I said, was you really... He said, I got pictures. He wasn't abducted by aliens. I've never seen one. I seen a shooting star first time in my life two weeks ago. I'm standing down there on that, that one bridge behind the um, amphitheater. Dude, I looked up in the sky and I've never seen a shooting star. And I looked at that and it's just like, oh my god, that was the most beautiful, coolest, fascinating thing I've ever seen in life. Ever. And I made a wish. You're English? I'm English. Um, Cherokee Indian. Oh, really? Yes. Well, what? That's why my skin thing is the way it is. My cheekbones are so high. I don't know what else I have in me. I don't have no clue. I don't know. The only family that I knew was my mom, my stepdad, and my two brothers. And my cousin Susie, he got electrocuted in the river. But she got electrocuted in the river when we were 14 years old. Oh, yes, I lost my cousin Megan uh, six months prior to my cousin Susie. Megan was nine. She died. Um, they gave her medicine, and um, she was highly allergic to it. She had severe cerebral palsy. I watched my Uncle Ray take his last breath at 2.30 in the morning. I was 12 years old, Christmas Eve. Watched my pappy die, my nanny die, my mom die, my dad die. Because it's, it's Uncle Cyril gone. I have two brothers. He's incarcerated. One who's out and he won't talk to me. It is what it is. But the only thing I really have is a family on the streets. Which, you're okay, I guess. Not really. If it wasn't for certain people at night time, I don't know what I would do. I'd be scared to death because I hate the dark. I'm scared of the dark, actually. I have a natural fear of it. From being raped, I was raped when I was 13. By some men in the alley. It was nuts. Instead of being found out anywhere. Mom was pissed about it. My mom was out all day for a long time. She never knew what our stepdad did to us. Me and my two brothers was, was crazy growing up. But, but I also got to have lift. Like, but he also compensated for stuff he would do to us because he would take us everywhere. To Virginia Beach, we Myrtle Beach, Canada. We had everything we ever wanted. My mom bought me a $9,000 van. So my brother destroyed. <coughs> I couldn't do nothing about it because my brother wasn't put in jail. So I just said, whatever. But I'm mad about it. <laughs> yeah, I got to Greenwood Cemetery a lot. He used to have my car. I'd get out there and just lay with her. Her, her, but all great. It'd be so weird sometimes. Because just like the sun, it'd be so great. Be, sometimes I'd get out there and it's a dark, dirty day. Like the clouds are just like separating and someone's just like beam on me. It's nuts. We have a sick intuition about us too. Like we knew when something was going to happen. Like the dark boy Jake had a car accident. All the doctors up at Pittsburgh said he was going to die. And my nanny came to me in the dream. My nanny told me. She said, Carrie Lynn, she said, Jay Bird's going to be okay. And I walked to the UPMC hospital and he said, come on. Doctor said, never seen it before in life. I put my hand on my brother Jay's hand. I said, brother Jay, don't. I was like, you can't get it now. I said, nanny said, you're going to be okay. He squeezed my hand. And the doctor said, they never seen anybody do that in the camera. It was weird. Guess what? Next morning he woke up. They, they was about to pull a plug. Like, everybody's going to say, I didn't go, I was not. They said there was something wrong with me because I was going to smell it. I said, my nanny came, my nanny told me. My nanny told me he's going to be okay. When my nanny tells me something, it happens. They're around me, it's so weird because sometimes I'll smell my nanny's perfume, which was Genite. She should have uh, used Genite perfume and Dentine ice gum. And I smell, I smell it sometimes. Mm -hmm. Real strong, it's weird, dude. Yeah. My mom, too. My mom, I, mean, I took her sleeping pills, her candle. People think I'm fucking whacked. I'm not whacked. Seriously, my mom had I have a candle that belongs to my mom. It was sitting on the table and I had a whole bottle of sleeping pills. I was like, fuck this shit. Like, I was really about to take these sleeping pills and just go to sleep forever. 
and this candle flew. It said from from the dresser, clear over, and I felt this gust of wind. Like my mom was pissed, and I walked right in the bathroom, boy, and I dumped them pills, them pills on the damn thing. I said, I won't do that again, mom. The psychic, a psychic told me, the psychic walked up on me, a medium. She was cool, cool. I never believed in that shit. I swear to God, I never believed in that shit till that day. And then she just said, she's like, the name Brenda, she almost scary on it. She told me my mom's name, my kids' name, like everything. My kids, they're both taken care of. They're where they need to be at right now. It's crazy. I have four kids. <coughs> Morgan, TJ, Logan, and Timothy. I got Timothy out of the Bible, Logan, Michael. Michael's out of the Bible. My daughter's name is Morgan Ray. Ray's after my uncle. And then my youngest is Thomas Earl Gruber Jr. after his father, a.k.a. TJ. Yep. I got four kids. My oldest is very sick. Diabetic, celiac disease, bipolar. His blood sugar is 888 years old. It is the hardest thing I ever did in life to walk into that law for office and sign them over because I couldn't take care of them. Horrible. But best thing I ever did for them, which is cool. And then they already know that the flash could ever and stuff. So that's why I'm going to get a house and stuff. That's why I stand for him. Let me get on my feet. Because I need my kids. Other than that, I'm fixed. Um, I had a hysterectomy when I was 25. I can't have any more babies. I don't want them more anyways. I can't be one of those bitches out here. I don't know how they do it. You can't take care of you can't take care of the kids you already had. Why well, can't make more dumb? Why can't you want the welfare system? I mean, with that welfare check? Mm -mm. My son my son, oldest one had his own money instead of Logan. And I had um, bank accounts where only their names was on it. Like, they still got money. Like, sometimes I'll go down here at the bank down by the OBMC. My kids all got bank accounts. But only their names are on it, and they're not all touching shit until 25. I got shit wrapped up in CDs. Shit, thing I'm wearing. Huh. I know. Twice. But I have money, too. But I was too young when I got it. I was 17. And then I got my money that my, um, my great-grandma left me out, like $10,000. And I kind of blew it on the neighborhood. Um, everybody knew how my mom was scared. Mom said, Carrie, like, she said, you are like me. I'm going to get shit on. Because I'm too gullible and naive and too nice. And I can't help it. God always says, deal with you ain't got. And I give what I ain't got a lot. <laughs> too much, actually. Yeah. Crazy. It is what it is. But shit. I have good character skills. I have good, I have good art, which is good. I've been baptized twice in my life. Well, first time I baptized, second time I rededicated, as Pastor Bill said it. But I don't go to church anymore. They're hypocritical people and I do not like them. They don't like church members. I don't think I go to church to believe in God. <coughs> or whoever is up there. Which I know there's a God. I feel it. So were you even when? Uh, five in the morning. Are you going to be gone for a month? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, well, when are you coming back? Well, I don't know. It could be, could be a month, it could be two months. You know, I really don't know. Can I have your number? Do you have an address where I can write you? Yeah, yeah. You got books? I need books. So I have to read it. This book here um, that um, I had the Willing Hospital thing, it's so freaking neat. It's really cool. It is, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. so cool. Yeah. I don't know. Do you want me to give it back to you? Huh? Do you want me to give it back to you? Oh my god, no. I'm always okay, read it. Okay, great. <laughs> I've already been through it. Yeah. No, I'm doing the Bible thing. I'll read that Bible up there. Bible, though, I don't understand it because I'm not so sure that God actually wrote and missed the stuff that's in there because everything that we're supposed to be living by is in the Bible, but they all did it back in the day. You know what I mean? It's like double standards right there. I don't, I don't know. I know there's a superior being, but I don't believe that he wrote that Bible. I'm sorry, I just don't. I can't. Because you can't be like, oh, well, you know, this person's gay, so they're going to get to hell. But yet, in the Bible, it talks about you know, people being gay. Or it talks about girls being prostitutes, but yet, freaking Jesus' mother was a prostitute. Come on, now, Jesus got drunk. We're not supposed to get drunk, so like, what, what's up with this Bible? I think it's just something for men to try to control us, to figure out, to try to like, get us to live a certain way. I don't know. I just find a lot of holes in that Bible. I really don't believe in a lot of it. Just saying. I mean, you're really not supposed to talk about religion because it ends up in arguments. But I know there's a spirit being, but I don't believe in the Bible. But I just like to look through it though. It's pretty cool. 
Is that German Bible in English or German? English. Okay. My nanny had a German Bible. A lot of favorite, a lot of women, my favorite bisexual. My uncle Ray was straight gay, and I do not believe him with the hell just because the Bible says it's an abomination. Because you can't say what it is, what it is, and what it ain't. And nobody actually can actually say that. They actually really don't know. But I do think that we come back. I do think. Because how else would our TVs, like back in the day, there was like the TV, there was a TV, you take the color pictures, color paper, and put it over. Mm -hmm. Someone told me about that. And look how bad it is they evolved. I think we're always, we're all aliens. They all are scared of UFOs. We are the UFOs. <laughs> I'm going to in. <clears throat> um. Okay. Shit. I got some really good deal. Oh, yeah, I didn't make it. I'll get one. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get one. What time is it? Okay. Oh, well, if we need it. Hey, um, give your number. What is your phone number? What's your number? Uh, 646-617-7106. And you have an email address? Yes. What Jerome, J-E-R-O-M-E, Poynton, P-O-Y-N-T-O-N, at gmail. Now this number is good till Sunday, but then when I leave the country it's not good, but the email is always good. So how are I going to you? calling you? Well, you email me and I'll call you back. Okay. That's for sure. She should be coming be coming soon. I love the way Marker smells, stupid. <laughs> I love smells. I want to play it. Can't wait till I get my own place so I'm going to make a butterfly garden. Make uh, a what? Butterfly garden. Oh. You plant all the, the flowers that attract the butterflies. It's absolutely amazing. Beautiful. Butterflies are my favorite. Nice. I'm nice. serious. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. On foot. <laughs> I do that. This one's my favorite now. See? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got my angels on my back. Uh-huh. That's my, girl, my good girl, my bad girl. Mm -hmm. I got them on the same shoulder because that's where they're at all the time. People put shit on different shoulders. Nah, them bitches are the same here. Good and evil. <sighs> so we got to do the rest of the day. Well, uh, I don't really have anything to do the rest of the day. I, just, I, I did want to see you. And, uh, and so we're doing that now, which is good. And then I have to probably go back at some point and finish packing. If you want to do that for a little bit and let me get that money for that, I can wait for her to come and see if she's going to take me to the bus station in the morning because you have to get over there to Allen to get the bus pass. That's where I went. The bus driver will cost you from convenient. Do that. I need a shower, so I'm going to see if I can get her house in the shower. I feel like I stink. Do you want to try to read one of those stories? Um. I really don't know. <laughs> Was that it? I can read, but it's just. Well, just weird. just try try a paragraph. See how it works. Okay. Um. I don't know what to read. I just uh. Okay. 
You want me to do anything? Yeah. Um, it's weird. Um, okay. We don't need to read which one. Well, I, like Elsie, I like Elsie John, but Alvarez is good too. What? Either one, whatever one you want to read. What did you say? I said I like the first one the best, but uh, but the second one is good too. I don't have to remember reading a lot of it. I already love it. it okay. You read first part of each one of them then. It's weird. So See if one of them takes you. Do what? See if one of them takes you. If one of them finds it seems interesting. Uh, that's all they found. I found it interesting when I read it. Oh, um, okay. Sometimes I remember Chicago and my experiences while growing up. I remember in partic particular the people I knew. As frequently happens, I associate whole periods of time as, I don't know what that word is, in, in, what does that say? In, uh, out of my glasses. Indicative? Indicative, maybe? Indicative, my... yes, that's it. Of certain changes within myself. But most likely, but mostly I think about the people and I recall one person rather vividly, not only because he was obviously out of the ordinary, but also because I now recognize what a truly beautiful creature he was. Okay, I ain't gonna read it anymore. Okay, Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. It's weird to read. I, I'm gonna read better than myself than I can out loud. I need some mass books though. That's what I really need. Some algebra books and stuff like that. To study. That, like. Asimov? Algebra. Oh, algebra. Yes, because I want to go back to school. I actually do. I want to do what I always wanted to do. I want to be a veterinary assistant. I love animals. Animals are like my heart. I love animals. You can love them. You can smack their asses and they don't care. They still freaking love you. <laughs> it's unconditional love when it comes to an animal. That's why I love them. And then my favorite thing is a koala bear. One day in life, I will own one. <laughs> and a horse. And a zebra. I went out for them. My mom used to call me all the way for growing up. I used to go out there all the time, grabbing them snakes and wild animals and saving cats. That's why I have an issue around here. There's too many of them. So sad. I got one. I got somebody holding it for me. His name is Peppy. He is very beautiful. He's great in one. And he loves the shit out of me. I go see him every day and I got some cat litter and cat food for him. He's cool. And I need my cat, my dog. That's all I need in this world. My kids. Sooner or later, my oldest son's 17. He's down in Malazan right now. And a place and a home. This is stupid. So I have to get my shit together so he can get out of there. Because so I went down and talked to the YSS. They said if I get my shit together and stuff, I can petition the court and get my son home. I don't want him staying in an institution. Mm -mm. Yep. I'm going to get him. That's why it's very important for me to get this job. A job, any job, I don't care. Just a job is just to show, hey, you know what I mean? I do love my kids. And I have to get this apartment, which hopefully all works out. Yeah, mm -hmm. <coughs> so, um, you got some packing to do? Yeah, I do. After you pack and stuff, I'll, I'll come back later and see you again. But I do want to get a shower. I do have to go do number two. Yeah.